Hey guys, it's Shalyn. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to saddle a horse for their first time. Today we're going to use Miss Willow. A little bit about Willow. I brought her from Idaho. I currently live in California. A few months ago she was my cousin's horse and she is untrained although she was started about four years ago as a two-year-old she hasn't been touched since so we're just starting all over and it's almost as if she's never been trained before so we are going to start off by sending her between me and the saddle this way she can get used to the saddle being around her without just throwing it on her back so this is what we call the sending exercise and if you guys want to follow willow's journey you can go to my instagram um shalyn volk hms this way um, i'm not always posting everything on youtube but on instagram i have been pretty consistent so anyway back to this if you guys do this with your horse they're able to get used to the saddle with out putting it right on their back we call this the sending exercise what you want to do is once their tail gets past your belly button you yield their hindquarters and send them back through again the idea you want them to be calm and relaxed as they do it um, you will continue to do this until they are just walking right through without worrying about the saddle ideally you want them to stop and sniff it and check it out willow didn't really do that so I did this for quite a few minutes a lot more than what is actually shown and she obviously doesn't care a lot of horses will care um, but she really didn't so she is relaxed she's great she seems comfortable so we are just gonna get on and saddle her so I bring everything to the center I don't want the horse tied up I want the horse to be free and this is just the safest way to do it you start off by desensitizing them to the saddle pad you want the horse to be okay with you throwing the saddle pad all over them and you don't want it to be an issue at all so you do that by continue to throw it on them till they stop and are calm and are relaxed so willow doesn't care that she has been desensitized to the saddle had days previous but she obviously does not care as you can see which is awesome and perfect and just what we want that shows that she is ready for the saddle also she was um, put in a bareback pad a day before this so she was used to a girth around her just not the whole saddle now the saddle I want to put it on the off side this way I only have to walk around the horse once when doing it up so I just let the stirrups and the girth and back cinch down and then I'm able to just walk around once to do it up this way you don't have the chance of the horse freaking out all the times you're walking around them so as you can see I let all the um, girth and everything down and I'm just being really gentle I don't want to make this scary I want to be gentle and then when doing up the girth you want to be slow and you don't want to create a cinchy horse just slow it is gonna you don't want it to throw them off and I like to use a back cinch just to get them used to it from the get-go I think any horse should be comfortable with a back cinch so when I like take off her halter I book it because a lot of horses if they start bugging they want to go towards you and I don't want her to come towards me so she did hump up a bit it wasn't crazy or anything it was kind of just a cute little hop whatever she's doing there and I kind of just let them do their own thing um, the first day it's okay if they buck they can be as violent as they want this is the second day and the third day where if they start bucking I'll change directions and I'll try to try I'll kind of try to get their mind somewhere else so I let her buck let her do what she needs to for however long as she needs to I just keep her feet moving and then once she calms down I kind of just do a normal round penning exercise we're just gonna do normal round penning switching directions um, kind of just acting like the saddle's not there at all so she calmed down pretty quick and even changing directions she didn't really um, react to the saddle at all so that was she did really well actually and I expected her to just because she was started four years ago um, I'm sure she does remember the saddle at least a little bit So 
So I did this longer than what is shown in the video, but I did it till she was kind of more relaxed and ready to be done. Um, when she was not really fighting the saddle as much, then I brought her into the center with me and just let her relax with that saddle on. A lot of people underestimate the power of letting a horse just sit and relax. The horse's greatest commodity is air. They will calm down so much if you just let them sit and relax. And she probably sat here for five, 10 minutes. And seriously, just even when riding them, let your horse just relax and they'll learn to stand. Sorry, stand. So here I just put on the halter and now I'm desensitizing to the stirrups flapping. I'm kind of just trying to find any oh no spots with the saddle because I want her to be completely comfortable with the saddle before I get on her, obviously. So I am going to be flapping the stirrups and she honestly doesn't really like it well she's standing here but it took her a while to get used to that but I only show the one side because just for time's purpose for the video but always make sure you do both sides when you're training a horse with anything one side is one horse the other side of a horse is a second horse. You basically have to train a horse like you're training two different horses. They basically have two brains, I guess you could say. So whatever you do on one side, you always, 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 always have to repeat on the other side. So this was actually after a few minutes and she finally eventually stood still for me and it actually took her a few days to where she would just not care about that at all. So. I just pat her, pat the saddle, just try to find things that scare her. Like I said, I did it to the other side, I just didn't show it to the camera. So this is kind of where we end. My camera just stopped and froze up right here, but I would just like to say that I did more desensitizing, but this is basically where it ended besides like the extra desensitizing that I did. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're able to learn a lot from it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment any questions or video ideas. Comment anything down below and please don't forget to subscribe. I love you all and I'll see you all next time. Bye.